where people are feeling the effects of Putin's war firsthand as food and energy prices go up, adding to the global inflation crisis. The rising cost of living has been hitting families hard. My colleagues and I have been hearing it directly from Canadians. I had the chance to talk to Tracy and her two kids earlier. Talked about the fact that it's getting harder and harder to buy fresh fruits and groceries, that the prices are going up for just about everything. We know families across Canada are working hard to get through this pandemic. And let's be clear, Canadian families did the right thing during these past years. They stayed home when they had to. They looked after each other. We got vaccinated as Canadians to some of the highest levels of anywhere in the world, which is a good reminder with cold and flu season coming up and the return of uh, possible next waves of the pandemic. It's important that people get up to date in their boosters. We have new updated vaccines uh, that will give us that extra shot to keep us protected through the winter and make sure that we're continuing to do the things we love uh, through this winter, even as the pandemic continues. But it's been a hard couple of years, and I know people are tired. And now, like Tracy, I know a lot of people are worried about making ends meet. Our government is here to help people who need it the most, folks in the middle class and people working hard to join it. That's why the very first thing we did in Parliament this fall was to put forward the Cost of Living Relief Act bills to help make life more affordable. This relief would double the GST credit for six months, delivering up to an additional $467 to a family with two kids this fall. It's going to help about 11 million families across the country with more money in their pockets just as a time as people are looking at this winter with worry that the bills are going to be heavy. Also, families under 12 Families with kids under 12 who don't have dental coverage could get up to $1,300 per child over the next two years to help make sure that they can stay healthy and go to the dentist. And 1.8 million renters, low-income renters across the country, would benefit from a $500 one-time top-up to the Canada Housing Benefit. These are all concrete measures that we're debating right now in the House that we're hoping to move forward on, and we call on all parliamentarians to support the GST credit as it moves through the Senate, but also support for dental, support for rental. These are things that will make a difference in the lives of Canadians right across the country. Canadians and parliamentarians need to work together to deliver it. Ces mesures font partie des efforts qu'on fait depuis 2015 pour rendre la vie plus abordable. Plusieurs prestations de revenus du gouvernement sont déjà indexées à l'inflation, par exemple celle du régime de pension du Canada et l'allocation canadienne pour enfants. Cet été, les paiements de la sécurité de la vieillesse destinés aux personnes âgées de 75 ans et plus ont augmenté de 10 et notre gouvernement met en œuvre un plan pour rendre le logement plus abordable en augmentant l'offre de logement, en aidant à épargner et en freinant la spéculation. We're also helping families with young children who are already saving thousands of dollars a year thanks to our plan to deliver $10 a day child care, including many families here in Ontario who are beginning to see rebates uh, in their child care fees. Those are hundreds, even thousands of dollars that makes a real difference at a time where every penny counts as we're supporting our young families. And on Friday, the next Climate Action Incentive quarterly rebate payments are going out. That's the fact that the price on pollution we brought in a number of years ago actually returns more money to the average families. And that quarterly payment is going out this Friday here in Ontario. The fall rebate for a family of four is $186 part of the $745 total that you'll get this year in Ontario. Payment goes to Canadians who live in provinces with the federal price on pollution, that is Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta. And again, for the vast majority of families, for the hardworking families of the middle class and those working hard to join it, you get 
eighty percent. You get more money back from that price on pollution than you pay on average. We've worked hard to ensure that no one in our economy was left behind during the pandemic, and so our economy could come roaring back. And now Canada has one of the strongest job recoveries in the G7, and we have a really low unemployment rate. But we know that's not enough. We know we need to keep working hard for Canadians. We need to keep making sure that as the economy grows, everyone benefits, not just those at the top. That's why we'll keep investing in programs that lift people up and build a future where everyone sees and has opportunity. That's why we're focused on economy on an economy that works for all Canadians. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.